Hello. Hello. Okay, used her. We'll have to come back here later then. For now, let us head downwards. Downwards. Lots of gems. Yes. Plus ten to might permanent. She's now well. She's now really, really freaking strong, kind of person. Okay. Key to the Tower of High Magic. This is the entire reason why we came down here into the Cave of Illusion. We needed that key. The statistic boosts? Well, they're just a happy afterwards. After thought, after whatever. I should have came here with more gems. I'm about to run out. I can always just drop a Lloyd's beacon. You can always just pull over. HP 336, 256. That's about plus 30 HP there. It'll increase exponentially with levels, which is a good thing. Okay, we're gonna have to drop the Lloyd's Beacon and the Town Portal. It's starting to get dangerously low in gems. Cast and return to Vertigo. Safe and secure! It's not the gold that worries me so much as it is just the gems. Accuracy, 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 accuracy. Giving that to her. I need her to be able to actually hit reasonably well. She is my first strike unit, after all. Okay, let's head to the northeast and we'll pull the plug on all of this. Can we rest here? Yes, we can. Nifty. Day of Sorcery, Day of Protection, oh yeah, oh yeah, don't you shake your head at me. <laughs> now, the only little problem here is, see those spikes, they're not false anymore, you can get hit by them, so the only thing we can do might as well jump. Might as well jump. Already been here.
And sometimes you have to take damage to get through. Fact of life. Holy crap. These things are scaring me. Oh, at least they're good experience. Let me see. Yep, yep. Side step. Work. Okay, I'm going to pause it right here because this is running a little long. When we come back, we will finish off the Cave of Illusions, and then we'll head to the high tower, or the magic, the Tower of High Magic. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in a little bit.